Hello everybody, welcome to another round 16 game from AeroBB. We've got Galentio with his Pro Elves, um, which, <laughs> you know, this might look a good team if you just looked at it um, on its own. He's got a Mighty Blow Catcher here, uh, Mine's move. he's got an Adge Up, um, got a bunch of Blodge and stuff, okay, and then you look at this. You look at the uh, Necro team, and the skills disappear, because you know Blood Bowl Two wasn't a perfect game. Let's be honest. Here we go. And then you look at this Necro team, and like, what is this team? Six Guard Necro, Strength Four Mighty Blow Wolf, Tackle Palm Wolf, Perfect Fleshies Block Guard Mighty Blow. A decent like utility white with blodge, then this white with tackle palm, dauntless, not so sure on, but you know, fair enough. Like insane. Just a completely insane team. Blodge step. Block sure hands up. I hate diving tackle on him instead of diving instead of sidestep, but hey. Three reserves. Monster, monster, monster necro team. Yeah, he must not have taken like any cars <laughs> well any perms hardly any perms i mean not not on positionals right that's unbelievable uh galentio does have a wizard though he has some elves and a wizard so he's got a chance uh galabranth did beat kaelon it was hilarious doing the preview because like, we got to kaelon's team and i'm like wow this team's amazing and he's like i'm playing galabranth who's got a better team and i was like shut up <laughs> and no he really did have a better team yeah this team is is nuts. Movement four line, I love that. Doesn't pile on, scared of the foul. But I mean he killed the dirty player, didn't he? I guess plus he's like just tackle mighty, right? He's tackle mighty. But I think if you're not gonna pile on, you put him in the middle, right? So that you can um you can still block outwards. But at least you've got like Guard on either side. Wow, this was a choice, wasn't it? I hate that. I hate that blitz. Absolutely hate that blitz. I mean, he just literally frenzy trapped himself fully 2D and uphill. So you could have just put that guy on the LOS and blitzed with, blitzed with the white, right? Oh. Do not like that. Flip me. That was rowdy. We've got a bit of a gaping hole potential. The problem is there's no guard at all on Galentio's team. And he's playing against six guard. So, yeah. <laughs> What Galentio could have done here, we'll see where he moves the catcher afterwards. So what he could have done, catcher could have come round, hit from here. Oh, fuck off, man, Samuel Jackson. He could have hit from here, and then he could have powered him to there, which would have freed up that wrestler right to not have to dodge, because he hasn't got dodge. So that would have been a nice little move there. Two anyway, so he's all right. <laughs> doesn't doesn't sacrifice the edge five. The edge five could have just run through here, couldn't he? But um, you know, he'd just get blitzed and fouled and killed. So now we put the guard in and blitz the catcher. Nope. Why did he run around there? Did he think he doesn't have sidestep? Does he not know? <laughs> the blitzers have sidestep despite literally just having side been sidestepped against. Flip me. 
Oh my god, what a what a what a balls up. So now Galentio has to just try and surf this wolf, right? Has to. Nice wrestling the uh Okay, this is worse because now he's gotta block him as well. Okay, wrestles him. Okay. Okay. Free roll yet? Yeah. Dice gets the power. I wouldn't have. I uh, wouldn't have put him here. I would have put him. I would have put him there, so that uh, I could have pushed him there and followed. And then you've got your sidestep a hold inside. I mean. A bit unlucky. Unlucky from Calentio there. Oh wow, he's just offered this guy. Nope, he's realised. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's a necro. <laughs> Probably shouldn't stand there. <laughs> Man, that was that was such a bad bad move there by Galabrand. Going back to the middle. Can't dodge ways on tackle, I mean I guess he could, but Again, I don't really like that blitz. I'm not. I'm not a fan of Galabrant's blitz decisions this game. But um, I don't see how. Oh wow! Oh, his caging decisions. So just instant 2D on the ball then. Oh, he's going to fireball as well. He's going to bolt. Oh, I would have fireballed, man. That's like such a waste of a bolt, isn't it? You've got two dice on him instantly. You could have fireballed all five of these players. Fireball all five of these. You've got an instant 2D on him. I mean, pretty instant 2D on him. It's actually, like, worked out. Yeah, the scatter wasn't great, was it? <laughs> it, like, actually kind of worked out bad for him that he bolted. Because at least if he blitzed him, he would have pushed him to there and then might have got a more favourable one. But I think, it, I think it was just wrong to bolt. I think fireball is much better, right? Fireball gives you five targets. You're still 50 50 to do a 2 plus, so like, you've still got a pretty decent chance of knocking down the ball. It's You've got an easy 2 doing the ball, whatever happens. And then you might, you know, you might remove one of these four players as well. And I think if you use it, you fireball. And then obviously, fireballing makes the recovery a lot easier after you blitz them and stuff anyway. But I mean, it was, it was still very unlucky to like, not get out of that turn with anything really. Nothing to show for it after that turn is a bit sad. Wolf's free as well. Ah. He just constantly frenzy trapping himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he sees a sidestepper and he must blitz it. <laughs> he's got strength 4 as well, he could just be strength 4 it. Like, he's not piling on. And now the ball is not too deable. So, you know, now is a much better turn for the ball anyway. Lost his chance, hasn't he? Like I don't hate. Like, honestly, there was a time when I would have like put off doing the, doing using the wizard because I can hit the ball anyway. And I feel like you know, I bought a second coup. Um I feel like it's okay, you know, like 
I can't remember who it was. It was versus somebody, an American, I think, in the playoffs where I had a pretty good chance for a sack. And then Sindane, I think it was. I had a pretty good chance for a sack, and I thought, well, I don't need to use the wizard. So I think using the wizard there is, you know, and if I had used the wizard, then it would have made it totally safe. Right, I just fireballed it first. It would have been way better. So I think fireball to soften up was the play there. And I think it was correct to do it. I just think the bolt was the wrong choice. Removal. Four removed. He's got no beard. He's also only down 150. For the wizard. Oh man, you can foul the edge five. Wow, he really doesn't really care about the ball, does he? <laughs> this is uh, this is very risky stuff. Very risky stuff from Galibran. That's the removal. Sent off. And now I've got two dice on the ball. With Pinty Blow Tackle. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> I guess he's got no players left to do anything, even if he got it. Just run away, wait for the half to end. Sad. Like, I guess, just hoping that he fails, you know, something on the last few turns. It's not great, is it? It's not a great hope. Just hope that he uh, messes up. And these frenzy traps. <laughs> every every single turn. Just literally every single turn. He was able to hit a sidestepper with a wolf. He just did it. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really not trying to be harsh. But, you know... It's kind of crazy, like, how he's just gone after the sidesteppers with his strength three. He's got a strength four wolf as well. Who could have been going after the sidesteppers? And he's just doing it with the uh, strength three wolf. And I know he's got tackle on him, but... Flip me. Again, not really defending the ball. Could easily two dice it. Just choosing to one dice it. Can't can't hit the air sidestepper, so he just has to do the best block he's made all game with this one. That's the removal. Instant removal. This block first is correct, isn't it? Because that makes it a 3D for the fleshy. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. Yeah, you've got to pile on. Imagine not piling on. Now, I can understand it when people don't pile on, you know, when like, they're facing elves and stuff, because they, they want their tackle mighty to be able to go somewhere next turn and stuff. But he's got two tackle mighties, right? He's got... He's got two tackle pommers, so he can just pile on with the with them alternately. Um, you know. Oh my god, Kaz. A tackleless blitz. So he apples the badly hurt. Bet he wished he wishes he had two babes right about now. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now we're in a guard cage, so now I can't want you know, even one dice him now. Necro versus elves. But that's the difference, right? That's the difference. This game, we'd seen Spork's elves versus Danton's Necro. But Danton's Necro had, like, what, two guard or three three guard, I think? And and Spork's had five guard. Whereas in this, Galentio's got zero guard and Galabranth has six. <laughs> and also two tackle pommers versus... You know, two tackle players. Big difference. Big difference in the way these two teams matched up. And there he go, gets his drive done. I guess it's Galabrant, isn't it? <laughs> In the same way as it's Keat. So down two players, still got a reserve. Down two players, and that's still got 11, right? He's got a lot of players, Galantio. They're not the best players. They're not the best players, but he, he should have uh, he should have benched the wolf right in case of throw a rock. Should have benched uh, Orbi Wolf Kenobi. He should have. He should have benched them. A lovely fella, just like yourself, Keith. Yeah, the one turn. Hate using the whole method. No excuses. For Galentio. Literally no excuses. Should not be using the whole method. First of all, should not be using the whole method. Secondly, should be blitzing this guy. Or, you know, have the at least have the ball this way. So that you've got the extra hit here, right? You can put you've got sidesteps. You don't need all of this. You don't need all of this. This is if even he's got time to change it, but this is like genuinely terrible like he's got a sidestepper this is terrible you know the sides you want the sidestepper in between the two here and not no one near the tackle anyway right in case you don't power him at any point so go to the other side put your sidestepper here two other players here blitz this guy you can power him you can even power him then because you sidestep forwards and then you can block this guy and get him forward that way so it's just really, 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 really bad to to use the whole method of the sidestep. But that is that is terrible. Like you know, now it's terrible in terms of it being Galentio. It's not obviously. Look, if it was like you know a casual person playing his first league or didn't know about the internet and stuff. Um, but you know, in the modern age where the internet exists, anybody can learn how to one turn. And Galentio was in the money tournament, you know, he beat me in the money tournament for the uh, play-ins. You can't use the whole method with a sidestepper and, and be going on the outside one so you don't get second chances. That was really, re genuinely terrible that he, that he set up like this. This was terrible. <laughs> I can't stress enough just how terrible it is. Maybe I should make, you, you know, one-turn guides because... That is, I mean, it's disgraceful. I don't know how much he was just like out of it mentally and just didn't care about the result, maybe. But even then, like, this just, you should automatically not be doing that ever, right? For the level he's at, again, you know, not, not, uh, this just, that's just real bad. <laughs> did he, did he gym foul on top of it? Did he foul? Why did he foul? Oh god. <laughs> That's maybe as bad as the one turn defense. Why are you fouling a fucking zombie? I know he's got tackle, but Jesus Christ, it's a zombie. He's got all these players. 
And it's a play. You might not get your KO back, right? He did get his KO back, but he might not have got the other KO back. He could have been players down for this half for, like, killing a zombie who's got two reserve zombies. Like, the tackle zombie's worse than the block zombie, in my opinion, anyway. I think he's making a mistake fielding the... Maybe he fouled him so he'd feel the tackle zombie because he thought he was scared of the tackle zombie instead of him fielding the block zombie. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Keith. Yeah, you know, like, look, it, it's not like he's somebody in Division, you know, 5 or whatever, you know, played a few casual games, you know, lovely Irish lad, you know, just playing for fun and stuff, is he? Do you know what I mean? Like, he's he's in, you know, he's qualified for Chalice and stuff. He's qualified for the play for the uh, play-ins. Beat me in the play-ins. And he's got an agile sidestepper and he's using the whole method. He's a big fan of Chunter. Huge fan of Chunter he is. Chunter would be like, you know, would be steam coming out of his ears if he saw him do that. <laughs> that was really, 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 really like, you know, I'm, I'm not even over egging the pudding here. That was really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, this blitz is pretty good, isn't it? Because, you know, even if even if he's, like, you know, disinterested because he thinks he's lost, you know, he's got no guard versus six. He's got L's. He hasn't been outbashed at all, even, right? He's actually outbashed. If he hadn't fouled, he would have, he would have outbashed with one removal to none. Um, he might think it's an unwinnable matchup. You know, he might be despondent about, you know, wasting the wizard. And, uh, you know, having multiple chances to hit the ball and no nothing coming off because he took so many KOs. So, you know, he may be despondent and not focused on the game. But even then, his absolute lowest baseline play should be, um, you know, not using the whole method with a sidestepper. <laughs> Basically. Whoa, tackle. L stuck on tackle. Can't dodge him. And he, uh, he failed, got KO'd. Move four. Probably should have moved the other one first, right? They're both on tackle. This guy's move, seven. But this guy had dodge, so maybe he didn't see the tackle, so he thought he was getting the, the dodge, dodge first. But, I mean, he should have... Dodge the movement six guy. <laughs> no, like it's worked out well for him that the movement four guy was moving to the move six. But, um... Yeah, but I mean, there's there's being in the game and thinking you're in the game, right? Like he could have been out of the game mentally and stuff. That's what I'm saying. So like, but you know what I mean? Like you know, like people people end up and you know, like all these all of these. Uh, what they called uh, frenzy trap blitzes, right? The constant frenzy trap blitzes, and uh, Galibrand not getting punished for these constant every single turn <laughs> frenzy trap blitzes, right? He might be tilted, right? He might be tilted out of his mind at this point, Galentio. But even then, no matter how tilted he is, he should be better than that. And, you know, people think they've lost games that they haven't and stuff, don't they, and all that sort of thing. You know. But it is the and it is the playoffs as well, right? If this was in the league, if this was in just the normal league, then you could think we'll do a normal one turn for practice when you don't have sidestep, you know? Stuff like that, right? Whatever, like, you know, there's there's all sorts of reasons people can play suboptimally in the, in the league. But, uh... When you're in the playoffs, you really, you know, you really should be trying to win. And even if you think it's very low odds, you shouldn't be checked out mentally. Like you should be, and but you know, people do check out mentally, don't they? And, you know, like they're not. People aren't robots and stuff, you know. And like, you know, what's he called? Cristiano Ronaldo makes mistakes and and everything, doesn't he? he gets paid one and a half million a week, so you know, like. Um, but again, his baseline player should never be that low. Like that—that's the problem. Like that is. 
That is that is the problem with with that that one turn. Was, it was that bad <laughs> that it was it was below any acceptable baseline play, no matter how disinterested you are. You know, like you can make a one dice block because you don't see a guard or you, or you think you've got an assist. You know, like they're, they're more forgivable. It's, it, I, I want to rant for another hour about it. Like, that's so bad. <laughs> it was really weird. How, you know, I wish, he'd, I wish he'd made mistakes like that versus me in the planes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but anyway, right, let's, let's focus on what's left. <laughs> let's just imagine he's 1-1. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, he just has to dodge away from tackle. Fair enough. Ooh. Oh, he's passing. Okay. I was going to say this is uh, this is weird. He was passing. Now he's going to try and blitz up there. Oh. Hate this. I think you've got a blitz here, right? And then dodge through there. At least tackle or so maybe hmm, maybe you blitz the tackler and then Oh so he's blitzing there to get around up there. In a way. Yeah, okay, that's okay then. Okay, I'd disregard the hit for that one. His idea was to uh get some players upfield that side. I would have preferred a, a dot two plus away there. One, two, three. But I understand wanting to get a bit more movement because, you know, the linemen are slow. They're not wood elves. I think you have to blitz this sidestep, right? Nope. Oh, you can hit the ball. You can just hit the ball. Flip me. Oh. <laughs> you can get surfed. <laughs> Whoopsie. Mm. Well, there's a lot of guard. Like, everyone's got guard. Well, I mean, you just dodge away right and then uh, blitz him with him do. Oh man. I guess you could even like dodge out and then. But the problem is if you put two players on it. The problem is you haven't need. So, first of all, you need sidestep to do the assist. And you just haven't got it, right? Your sidestepper is up here. So you, and, and here. So you don't have a sidestepper. So you are going to get counter surfed. And if you get two assists on, they both get counter surfed. So you probably just want to get one assist on. Oh, I know he's put he's taken his wolf away. So you could you could use two, but then you don't got you haven't really got the players to spare. So you probably just do the one dodge out and then blitz him to serve him. I mean you've got to serve him though. Holy moly! <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough, dog the dog. I did expect him to blitz this one though. You know, just go for the furthest player downfield and stay in front of him. That's the problem with like you know going for the ball sack. Now he's got a white behind him. And a, and a wolf level with him. Oh, you both downs. Rerolls into the push. Glorious. I agree with a reroll as well. You know, like it only fucks you on a one. On a three plus, you get the push you need. I think I think that was a correct reroll. I think it was correct to just make it a one D and correct to reroll. As harsh as it feels to like, you know, have to make all these dodges away from tackle and stuff afterwards. Nice that he's got a little cage corner there. Gets this guy up and around. Probably should have just done that first, right? Even though it's not really adding to anything. The fact it's 1 in 36 instead of 1 in 6. And that's the thing. This this guy, I think it was this guy, that would have been the, the extra assist. And he would have... Uh, I guess the catcher could have made the cage corner, couldn't he? So maybe he could have made it a 2D blitz, actually. Saved a reroll. Interesting, isn't it? But then at least he's got a player up here instead of down there. Wow. 
Maybe he should have made it 2D though, because to win he's got to win in overtime, right? So he needs his rerolls. And he needs his players. So it's it's tough. It's like scoring's gonna be tough still. The Dublay skulls? Again into a frenzy trap? <laughs> Literally every every chance he's got. <laughs> Galabranth Reckless is probably his name, I think. It's this is I mean he's picked the right team, hasn't he? Necro are the Necro are the Frenzy Trap Blitz team. Oh, he's double one. Double one first action. Diced. Now yeah, okay. This is this is the correct hit. Probably. You want to hit the wrestler with your wrestle, right? He's done it again. <laughs> he could have stood this guarder up first, but didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, Galabrand. I'm sorry. But, uh, flip me. Flip me, man. Sidestep is a skill in Blood Bowl. He doesn't have a leap, does he, on this guy? He 1Ds him so he can get out. Oh, this is pretty good, isn't it? Apart from the dodge through tackle. Should be able to get him out. Oh, he went into tackle? What the hell? That was bad, wasn't it? He should have just gone straight through. Dodge should have probably gone first, right? Dodge should have gone first for failure state. So he's got some ordering issues. Does does Galentio? There's been there's been quite a few ordering issues. Now again, maybe his head wasn't in the game with how, how much of a brutal game it's been and and the constant the constant unpunished frenzy traps. <laughs> maybe tilted him to the moon and back. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they've been funny though. Okay, safe moves first. Oh! We're going for a 2D on the ball then, not so safe. A little bit rowdy. Can't use his last reroll on this. Nice having that guy back deep, wasn't it? Gets this hit, but no cigar. He gets away from the uh, diamond tackle. Both dodges off, so. Oh, one in nine. Instant one in nine. I guess you've got to uh, blitz this guy. No, this is this is wrong. Who's he blitzing? You've got a guy who blodge. You could have blitzed that guy, right? I guess he was able to run around. Maybe that's better than right. He ran around him. But now he's got to make a GFI without a reroll. If he blitzed him, he could have cut the corner and been one square closer. Blitzing this tackle off. It's okay, I guess. Should try the GFI. Like, he's not doing a whole lot. I guess he is, right? Three plus. If he fails, yeah, he's doing something. Yeah, this is pretty good, actually. 
if you fail the two plus, then you've got a, a three plus for a one B. Which, to be fair, you might want him to go for. This is a guy that doesn't have sidestep. Finally, <laughs> finally, would have still been a one. In, would have been a two into one though, right? If he dared, he could have had this fleshy. Could have gone stood there, so it would have been a two into a two. But then by not doing that, he's got dying tackle on the ball, and then puts that at the end. So no, there, there, there's some payoff to making it not a frenzy. Time. To make it an offense trap, there was a payoff to make it an offense. And only two and one, which isn't terrible. Oh! Rolled a one. I was going to chain off the uh, the ghoul, I guess. Oh, I guess he could have blitzed with this guy, and then if he powers him, he gets rid of the wolf as well. That's something. I mean, who knows what he's There's lots of things he could do there, right? Lots of people he could block and blitz to clear things. But no re-rolls. Means he rolls a one. It's, uh, it's GG! Flip me. It's GG. Cheeky 1D with his <laughs> his guy with no no apple, <laughs> no region and no apple. <laughs> just just does a 1D. <laughs> Galavant obviously has no fear of failing anything. <laughs> There's no way on earth I would make I would ever roll a dice with a with a uh, with a with a ghoul like that ever. But there you go. Yeah, yeah, Galendio had some. Uh, Galendio did have some bad dice in that for sure, and Galabrand did some some really, 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 really dodgy blitzing. <laughs> like it was like he didn't know what sidestep was for like the whole game. Like that was really that was really uh, really lots to improve with dealing with sidesteppers. Uh, especially as he had the he had the tackle pom white as well, right? Who could have just been doing the blitzing, and then saving the you know in the strength four wolf. So he could have either gone with a strength four wolf for like safety, or he could have you know picked off non sidesteppers with the wolf, and then you know the the sidesteppers could have been targeted by the by the whites, but instead did some really do really dodgy blitz protection, some really dodgy ball protection. Um, but yeah, Galentio with that that one turn was. Was was really 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 bad, and uh, yeah, he did he did he, and Galeno made up some roughed up skulls and stuff, and snakes dub ones snakes, uh, you know maybe he could have gone for the ball. The wizard I thought was a fine turn, but I think, but I think it should have been a fireball, right? But I think I think it was fine going in on that turn. Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean the thing is it didn't it didn't punish him really, right? He just kept doing frenzy. Blitzers and pretty much got away with them all, apart from getting surfed and nearly getting surfed. Apart from those two times, nearly got away with it. I mean, pretty much got away with it, right? Anyway, right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, sorry, commiserations to Galentio. Congratulations to Galabranth. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>